Hello, tiny house people. This is Wayne of Wayne's Tiny House, and um, I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself here because I was going to look into uh, uh, solar panels after I had got my house complete. But I was looking at these um, the solar panels that you can get from Harbor Freight. They are on a total of 100 watts. And all of the reviews I've been seeing on these things were pretty good. And they're $148 if you have the coupon, which I did. So I, what the hell, I bought it. Okay, so let's take a look here. I'm not going to tell you how to put it together or anything, but I'll give you a short overview. Anyway, so... Here's the back part. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see any crap in there, but yeah, I guess maybe you can. Here's the wires that go down. You follow the wires and it has a harness. A harness, a harness. Where well, is a harness? Where are all the stupid things are? Oh, right here. Yeah, these things right here. So they all plug in. Each panel plugs into this gang harness, whatever you want to call it, which goes down to one cable. Okay? Like a snake in the grass here. Anyway, now one cable goes to your charge controller right there, which I have unplugged. Oh my goodness! Ah, it's unplugged. Where to go? I ain't gonna find it. Oh, where did it go? I got the wrong glass. Oh, here we, here we go, here we go. So this plugs in. You know, this plugs. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, this baby plugs into there. Okay, now, now you're cooking. And then that wire goes to your battery bank. Now, this is all Mickey Mouse right now. I have uh, jumper cables just connecting the two batteries in parallel, which keeps it 12 volt. And these are not the batteries to use. These are just regular deep cycle batteries. You don't want these uh, from what everyone tells me on the YouTube. Uh, tube channels. I think the idea, well, the ideal uh, batteries are wicked expensive. But for a guy like me, your six volt go kart batteries are the ones you use. They tell me. Now, the most expensive single component on this is this DC to AC converter. I bought one from Harbor Freight for $89, a thousand watt. Well, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that because you don't want a modified sine wave. You want a pure sine wave inverter. Do some research on that. I won't bore you with the details. But you do want a pure sine wave converter. Converter? Is that what they call those? Yeah, something like that. Anyways, um... So, right now it's all kind of Mickey Mouse, and it's been charging for most of the day. And last night, uh, around, I don't know, 6 o'clock, when the sun was going down, it was still charging. So, do research on this, and I will explain something further. Hang on one second, I'll be back. These pure sine wave inverters are about three times more expensive than the modified wave inverters. Yeah, I, it, 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 from what they describe on other YouTube channels, you're so much better off spending the extra dollars because modified sine wave inverters can damage some of your um, items in your house, like coffee pots, uh, I don't know what else, maybe computers, I don't know. But if you go with a pure sine wave, you'll have no problem. Spend the money, damn it. How many times you took a woman out to... to dinner for nothing that costs you a hundred bucks. Big deal. Alright, so throw down the cash. So, anyways, this has been uh, charging for quite a while uh, off the panels. It was under, well, it was like some 12.78 volts. And anyway, I think I'm up to 13. So let's take a look here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So, how does this work? Black on red, red on black? No, 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 of course not. It is. I don't know if you can be able to see this. Yeah, most of it wrong, huh? Wouldn't hurt anything, but anyways. So I'm up to 13.34 volts on these two batteries, a total for them both. 
Individually, I don't know, but it should be about the same if they're good batteries. So, I'm in a good voltage. Now, just because you're at a good voltage does not mean it's a good battery. It goes by, uh, it's, it's, what do they call it, the load or whatever. When you put a load on it, how much it's going to be drawn down. So, I still could have bad batteries, but the voltage is there anyways. But we're going to find out. I have no um, meter that can measure the load, so I'm not even going to bother with it. But I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to plug in my house. So my whole house will be on this inverter. So I've got a 10 gauge extension cord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 10 gauge. That's a heavy mother, one heavy mother extension cord. All right, now I'm gonna plug it in to the inverter. I didn't turn the inverter on yet, but it's all hooked up. It's like I said, it's all Mickey Mouse, and um, I have to do something more permanent later on. So I plug it in, the inverter, bing, okay. Inverter's still not on. And now we'll go over to where are we going? Where are we going, Wayne? I don't know. So we're gonna go over to my plug-in. Right now, I'm in. I'm plugged into the. Uh, hmm, yeah. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Right now, I'm I'm plugged into. Actually, 220. All right. Here's my 220 plug. It yeah, plugs into my way, way, way deep down in my garage there. Um, it's almost 100 feet cord. 220. Now, when I plug this in, I'm only going to have 110. Now, the 110 goes to both sides of my circuit breaker box. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. I get pissed off watching videos when people are doing shit with one hand, but I'm doing it. I don't care. Sure. Shut me off because I'm doing it with one hand. I don't care. Okay, so now let's go inside and we'll exp I'll explain what's happening there. Ooh. I'm going inside and take a little tour of my dirty, tiny little house and you'll be able to see how far along I got on it and it's, it's a mess. Oh my God, what a mess. Here we go inside my tiny house. Um, okay. Bum, 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 bum. <sighs> Here we go. So. I don't know if we can see anything. Yes, we can. My circuit breaker box is open. And this is right here it was, is the other side of the plug of the outlet. What do you want to call it? That I plugged in to the house. And it goes up to the main breaker. I'm going to shut the main breaker off for now. There's no power. I want to do this slowly. All right, back outside to the inverter. I'm gonna turn the inverter on. Okay, we find a switch. Inverter's on. Now, what are the lights doing? Okay, I got a green light. I don't know if you can see it, but the green light is on, which means, hey, it's cool. All right, as Mickey Mouse is this, this. Okay, now back inside. Do 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 do. Back inside. I'm gonna turn on the main breaker, and I'm gonna flip some switches. Let's see now. Main breaker back on. Let's test some lights. All right, that's lit up. Okay. That's, oh, look at the light. Oh. Now, you're going to figure out what you're going to be running. I mean, if you're off grid, you want a good battery bank. If, if it's just for, uh, you know, an occasional power outage, you want to use your minimum lighting. That kind of thing. You don't want to turn the whole house on. 
You gotta go to the bathroom, you turn the bathroom light on, okay? Now, let's check this out. The TV. All right, here we go. Check it out, the TV. Did it cut? The light's on, indicating that the... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's see now. Let's get, uh, let's get Netflix on. Netflix. I recently installed a Wi-Fi extender. Oh, there it goes. M M M D HDMI 2. That's what my... So I get Wi-Fi out here so I can put a documentary on while I'm wa uh, working on the house. No, oh, hey, hey, you can see me. Look at the reflection. Cool. Anyway, um, where is... No signal. How come no signal? No, okay. Okay, Netflix. Turn that on. Now just for fun, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to run. Gonna run? Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, Netflix always takes a while, you know, it kind of boots up the L. There we are. And there I am. If I don't know if you can see that. I don't have to write glasses on to even focus on this. Okay. Turn that on. And if you want to really be entertained about the um Roman Empire. You watch this series. It's these guys really entertaining. Gives you little tidbits on the Roman Empire, not like their conquerings, but you know what they did, you know, sharing the same sponge to wipe their butt in public toilets, things like that, you know. And uh so that's gonna come on pretty Here comes nope, the There it is. Imbecillitas mentis. Oh, I got some flickering going on in my camera. All right. But not I'll to the naked eye. But I did warn you, remember. So, that's on my two batteries. The frivolity of their right, spirits. Along with these lights. Their ignorance of the law. Huh? First of all, the fact that women are... Now, the way this here, works... Let's see. The way this works is that when it goes above a certain voltage, it shuts down. That is to say, the inverter. When it goes below a certain voltage, it shuts down. Which is good because when you have a battery bank, you don't want to draw it down 50, or below 50% or it's going to reduce the life of your batteries. These batteries I care about because I have the other uses for them, but they won't be the batteries I'll be using when I'm really set up for, for solar. So plugging into my whole house works very, very well. I know it did because I did it with a lesser battery. <laughs> the uh, oh. Yeah, hey, she's cute. Whoa. What? Him, I'm Nothing. not sure about. Anyway, she's going to kill us. The Roman feminine hey. ideal Go was off. the woman Whoa, as off. wife and. Oh, there yeah, it's off. Okay. So the whole house is plugged in through that, that cord. Cool. And things light up. Huh? Oh, that didn't light up. Oh, that was, that's the ceiling fan. Oh. Ceiling fan is working. No funny noise, because the, the other uh, battery I had on, it was just a car jumper with a, a cheapo inverter. Now it's humming. It's, now it's nice and quiet. So, yeah. I don't know if, if I'm gonna need to increase my, my panels to make this work well. But I can see it working for, you know, when you come home from work and it's dark out and you have no power and you fire this up. And, uh, yeah, there's my other lights there. So a good test would be to turn on all the lights and see how, see how quick, uh, how long it lasts. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, well, maybe I'll do that. In any case, my fan is working. Now, I wonder if my AC works. Let's, let's try my AC. My AC is working. So I'll be going to hell, huh? Two. The AC is working. Now, if you were in a power outage situation, and it was 90 degrees out, I think you just tough it out. Don't run the AC because 
you know, you, you need light more than AC, right? But it's working on the AC. Alright, let's shut that off. Okay, so, anybody uh, who is thinking about a cheapo setup for uh, solar panels, yeah, get your butt to um, Harbor Freight. Buy these panels. Yeah, $148 with a coupon. $189 if you're walking well out of coupon. Pretty stupid because they always have coupons. Um, my inverter cost over $200, unfortunately. But that's the inverter you want. It's a 1,000 watt inverter. That's all I need, I think. My batteries are going to be a few hundred dollars once I get, um, you know, yeah, once I uh, buy the proper batteries for the system. In any case, this is Wayne from Wayne's Tiny House. Uh, if you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. I got another subscriber last night, my 48th. You can be number 49. Anyways, thumbs up. Thank you. Goodbye.